one thing we won't see here today is the wishbone. Straight ahead, Perry Jones, and tried to bounce it. Gain of one on first for Phillip Sims. This is Parks. Parks with a first down. And wrestled down right at the marker by Vaughn Telemac. We're seeing extended playing time to get a hat on a hat and win the battle at the line of scrimmage and allow the 5'8 and 5'9 backs to try to find a crease even when you need two yards and that's all that's there. Those guys can get small and get behind those big offensive linemen. Thanks. I think that Monte Ball kid might just be all right. He's pretty good. Phillip Sims back in after the play action is able to swing it out to Terrell and Terrell cuts against the grain. Gets tripped up after a gain of nine. Poise shown in the pocket by Philip Sims. Sometimes you're going to take a shot, but you have to stand in there and have some courage and be tough. And he's accurate with the football, and that moves, gets close to moving the chain. Miami shows blitz. Here they come. Sims takes the hit and goes down. Anthony Ciccolo was an impact player as a freshman, and that's his third sack of the season for the second year game. Zachary Swanson's going to blow right by Anthony Ciccolo. He never picks him up and leaves Phillip Sims a sitting duck. And Phillip Sims is going to have to bounce back. Third and 13. Zone blitz to the receiver Jennings. Rocco with an incompletion for the first time in the second half. Ended his nice run. Now he's pressured. And he lets it go on the run. Incomplete. Trying to find a receiver Anthony Ciccolo brought the pressure there was a receiver they just dropped the flag in front of the Virginia bench but this should be intentional grounding intentional grounding by the quarterback Michael Rocco was when he let go of it and he's airborne under under duress but I believe he's in the field of play and not in the end zone when he let go of that football and what a difference this review makes